time is 2 o'clock. Good afternoon. Here is the news update. Non-academic staff union of federal universities say they are resuming today the nationwide strike which they suspended weeks ago. The Joint Action Committee of Universities Non-Academic Staff Union, which ordered the fresh strike, accused the presidency of failing to faithfully implement the agreement which they jointly signed two months ago to suspend the strike. The committee's national chairman, Samson Goke, addressing a news conference in Abuja, accused the presidency of adopting the divide and rule tactics in implementing the agreement to cause disunity among university staff. He cites the example of the 23 billion naira disbursed as part of the agreement to pay end allowances to both academic staff. Out of the 23 billion, Ugoke alleged that non-academic staff were given only 4 billion naira, while academic staff were given 19 billion naira. Speakers of Nigeria's 36 state houses of assembly say they had received the draft copies of the amended 1999 constitution bill from the National Assembly. National Assembly sent 15 clauses, eight amended in the bill, to the state house of assemblies for consideration and ratification. The conference of speakers of 36 state houses of assembly acknowledged the receipt of the bill's draft copies in a communique issued at a meeting held in Enugu. The conference says the state houses of assembly will immediately begin further legislative action on the bill. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has finally quit APC for PDP a week after keeping Nigerians in suspense over his political future. Announcing his exit from ABC on his Facebook page, Atiku says he returned to PDP he helped to form after extensive consultations with party leaders and major stakeholders. According to Atiku, the complaints he had with PDP before he defected to APC on the eve of 2015 polls had been resolved. APC had wished Atiku good luck in joining PDP, while PDP leadership had told him that he would not get automatic tickets to contest the 2019 presidential poll. 29 million Nigerians are said to be physically challenged. Founder of Renova Cerebral Palsy Initiative, retired Air Vice Marshal Femi Badibo in Ikeja, Lagos, at an event to mark the 2017 World International Day of People Living with Disability, mentioned this. He said in Lagos alone that 3.3 million people are considered to be moderately or severely disabled. The event, which took place at the at an auditorium in Alausa, Ikeja, was attended by hundreds of disabled people from all parts of the state. In foreign, the electoral court in Honduras has begun a partial recount of votes cast in the disputed presidential ballot. It was requested for by the opposition coalition after initial results showed the incumbent, Juan Orlando Hernandez, winning by a few thousand votes. But the opposition is boycotting the process because the tribunal is only examining around 6% of the vote. International observers have called on both sides to attend the recount amid concerns that there could be more violence. A nighttime curfew is in place after days of opposition-led protests in which at least three people had died and hundreds had also been arrested. With 95% of the vote counted, President Hernandez had 42.9% of the vote while Salvador Nasrilla had 41.4%. Now in sports, Super Eagles winger Moses Simon continued his fine form in Belgium with a crucial goal that won the match for resurgent gent against Zolti Warigan away from home. Simon scored the solitary goal, which proved to be the match winner in the 29th minute of the first half to record his fifth goal for the season. Gent's Nigerian midfield trio of Moses Simon, Anderson ACT, and Samuel Kalu all started, but there was no such luck for the country. Kingsley Madu on the opposition, Zolti Waringham team. Moses 22, the hero of the match, lasted full 90 minutes, but winger Samuel Kalu was subbed off in the 66th minute. Gent climbed to the fifth position with 25 points from 17 games as they continue to rise up the table after a poor start to the season. 
Japanese update. Thank you very much for listening. I am China Ibuong. Good afternoon.